Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use three gorgeous decks today, the Healing Oracle, the Gorgeous Unicorn Cards and the Crystal Angels Oracle and I used all of these decks yesterday for the Members Pick a Pile. And some amazing messages came out. So I'm going to use these today to connect with the energy. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the connection today? What do we need to know? The energy around the divine feminines today, please, angels. And the energy around the divine masculine. And remember, every day I do a divine masculine and divine feminine daily message. I do a DM to DF reading and I do a quick check in too to see what's going on. So plenty of messages to keep you strong and in your power. What's the energy, please, angels, around the connection today? What do we need to know? What's the energy around the connection today, please? Wow, thinking every day I'm shuffling. I don't feel the ready yet. Can we have a clear message, please, angels, for the connection today? Things have been shuffled around, shifted around. We have to be patient, patient, and then the right message comes out. The energy around the divine feminine, there we go. And the energy around the divine masculine, there it is, wow. And that one too, amazing. What's the energy, please, angels? Thank you. Sometimes they come out quickly, sometimes they take longer. It's all the energy. It's the way the angels connect with the cards and bring them forth to you. So let's see what we need to know. So the energy around the connection is, look at this, bring peace. See yourself change. So what the angels really want you to be aware of today is the changes that you've gone through on your journey. And when you see that and recognize it, you recognize it within your twin. Because you may be looking at your masculine right now thinking, well, they don't seem to be changing. They seem to be acting the same or doing the same old thing or, you know, not really moving towards me. I know it's all in the cards and the readings and I know I'm seeing the signs and I know I'm feeling everything, but I haven't really seen the change yet. You are the change. So the angel is saying to you, look at yourself. And this doesn't mean the way you are physically. Even though physically you may feel different, you may feel happier, healthier cleansed you may look more youthful because you're operating now in a high vibration maybe you've changed your hair or your makeup or your clothing or you know you're exercising more so your body feels healthier but on the inside look how far you've come you're so much stronger now you're so much stronger than you were yesterday the day before a year ago this journey makes you strong it gives you power it gives you your warrior fighting spirit and that's the change. So the change is that when you and your twin aren't communicating, you no longer stress out. Or if you do stress out, you don't stress out for a long period of time. You take back your power. You say, okay, I'm doing me. And we all have to learn this. So whether you are joining the channel now, and if you are welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been with me for a while, this may resonate with you a little bit more because you may have found this channel when you were struggling and going through pain and heartache and not really understanding why these things happen. But now through daily understanding and connecting with heaven and understanding the journey itself and feeling the love for your twin and the empathy and the compassion, you are a lot more calmer now. You're more at peace with things. You understand things in a higher way. So you feel better about things and that's the change. So the angels want you to be aware of the change within and to understand that when the masculines go within, they are changing their situation. They are changing. The way it works with the masculine is it happens very quickly. So for the feminine, it may be gradual things. So you make changes and even though you make changes quickly, it's gradually taking place, you know, and things are just moving forward in a natural kind of progression. Whereas for the masculines, they tend to do everything in a chaotic way. So they may seem to be the same, like, you know how it is when you see um, a beeper machine, you know, with a heartbeat on a monitor, and it seems to be like that, and then all of a sudden, doot, it goes on, and doot, 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 like that. That's what's happening with the masculine. So Everything's still and calm and the same, but woo, when he makes that decision, 
it's going to go do 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 and it's going to make all these changes so you know it's going to happen very quickly there's going to be very spontaneous change it's going to happen overnight it's going to happen quick when the masculine makes that decision that choice there's no stopping them and that's the energy so that's the change so look for the differences in yourself and realize they've been mirrored back to your twin we've got water and the energy of water is about flow you know going with the flow trusting the flow of the journey not fighting against the current anymore because that's what we do too you know we try and row the wrong way so imagine you're in a canoe and the current is trying to take you one way which is the universe showing you the way guiding you giving you the advice but you're adamant you're going to do it this way no i'm going to do it this way i'm going to keep reaching out even though everything's telling me to let it be and let him find his way i'm going to keep trying to make it happen and you really in that canoe rowing the wrong way or you're trying to bike up a hill it's tiring oh i'm so tired i'm sick of this journey i'm depleted i can't go on i don't know what to do oh i might as well just give up then this is what we go through but when the angels say surrender surrender let go go with the natural current stop fighting against the resistance of everything let go we put down the oars of the canoe oh oh that feels better doesn't it and then the canoe goes its own way well the boat goes its own way you're like oh you know you stop trying to row and you think oh it's nice to relax it feels nice here. it feels easier and that's when the peaceful energy comes in so water and energy is the element of flow now water is also about emotions so you're both in the fields that means you both feel things you're both sensitive right now you may both be highly emotional right now having highs and lows and you know moon cycles affect us all in different ways and this new moon is bringing in fertile energy change movement and also an anticipation feeling something's coming what is it what's that feeling i know something's changing even if i can't yet see it it's like in um, west side story when tony is singing about meeting maria he doesn't know he's going to meet maria he's never seen her before but he just knows something's coming he knows he needs to go to the dance he's been divinely guided and that's where he meets maria and wow the fireworks fly something's coming something good what will it be so just be positive today and know that something good is coming into your life something magical wonderful powerful and make sure that you're replenishing yourself too the card says drink more water and eat foods with water in them such as fresh fruit and vegetables so make sure you're looking after you today and the crystal is opal beautiful it says let yourself sparkle and shine you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world you are bigger than life don't dim your light to fit in be you shine who cares what people think do you anyway you know it doesn't matter what people think it's like me wearing these wigs i love them i make my wig big today because i love it that's why i've worn this one two days in a row because i just love this wig and i don't care what people think i love it and that's how you are in your life doesn't matter what people think about you and your twin you love your twin you know yourself doesn't matter what people think about your clothes or your makeup or your hairstyle or the way you do your nails or the way you walk you do you own it own your power and be you and this is also what the masculines are craving so much they want to sparkle they want to shine they sparkle and shine in your presence you know they feel your energy and they want some of that too you know they want to come out into the open and be the salt and opal is about clearing confusion and seeing the bigger picture so divine feminine <clears throat> for you today we've got look at this you're on a mission as a natural giver so you might be thinking what's my mission i really want to know what my mission is and your mission is to be a natural giver you are a divine feminine you are an empress you are an intuitive being so just give give where you're guided give love give time energy maybe money do what you're guided to do that's your natural frequency big changes are coming in 
So when you're operating through your natural frequency and you're giving from a natural place and you're being you, those changes come in. So if you've been seeing the words or the numbers, you may see the words as well, five or, you know, five, five, five. They're showing me a number of 55 um, in letters. So you may see the numbers in letter form too. Same, same sign, same message. And this is also about changing your job or changing your lifestyle or doing something that helps your mission. And this may also be with a drink more water to cleanse yourself, you know, to go through a cleansing. There may be rain around. There may have been some, you know, heavy rain around because there's a lot of cleansing. So you're also cleansing yourself of toxins. When we drink more water, we clear ourselves of toxins and we've got mind power. Rise up and be strong. So remember, you can get through this. You are bigger than any trigger. They're giving me fear. Whenever you go into fear, you are bigger than that trigger. You are tougher than that challenge. You are stronger than whatever is facing you. And you're not facing it alone anyway because the angels are with you. And Archangel Michael has got you giving you strength. And God would not give you anything that you can't handle. So remember your power is in the mind. Thoughts become things. Strength is from within. And so is your power. And happiness is always an inside job. And there's a grandparent around you right now. There's a grandparent. This grandparent could be living or in spirit, guiding you. It says you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. Now, I never met my um, grand. Well, I did. I met, I met some of them, but never had real relationships with them. One, one of my grandparents died before I was born. The other one died not long after I was born. And then my two grandmas you know, it was around when I was younger, but I never really had the opportunity to get to know them in a spiritual way or, you know, so they all kind of passed away when I was quite young. Even, you know, 20s to me is quite young because I was still growing and learning, evolving. So you may not be aware of that bond because maybe the same thing, you didn't have relationships with them or you didn't have strong relationships with them, but you have a strong bond on a soul level with a grandparent. And they are guiding you from above. And, you know, this could even be someone like an auntie or an uncle. Someone who watched over you, even without you realising that they were watching over you. It could be a godparent too. So you have a special bond and somebody is guiding you and that bond can't be broken. And I feel that your grandparent is saying to you the bond between you and your twin flame cannot be broken. Regardless of what's going on regardless of a karmic partner or, you know, what people are saying about black magic or any of these things, nothing can break that bond. And talk about your feelings. So you're being guided right now to communicate with each other, to talk about your feelings. Now, if you're not able to do that yet because that physical communication hasn't come in, talk about your feelings to each other with each other on the 5D realm. Maybe write down your feelings and talk about them. Talk to the angels. You know, if you're thinking I'm alone, I've got no one to talk to, you have an army of angels by your side. Befriend them because they are your best friends. Talk to yourself. You know, when George isn't here, you know, when he goes away or does his own thing, I talk to myself. And George will like sometimes come in a room and he'll say, what was that? And I said, oh, nothing. I'm just talking to myself. I don't care if people think that's loopy or crazy. It's therapeutic. Talk about your feelings on the channel. That's what the comment section's for. That's what the members' levels are for. To confide and ask for guidance and support and be there for each other. Tell a friend how you feel. Tell a friend how you feel. Maybe you're dying to tell someone in your life about your twin flame journey. But maybe you're worried that they're going to respond in a strange way. You don't know how they're going to react to it because they don't understand it. But this is saying to you, do what you're guided to do. Because love always heals fear. What a beautiful message. It says the power of your love, and this is the twin flame love, the power of the love that you have for your life and the power of love between you and your guides and your angels. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. So remember, if someone seems to be bullying you or angry at you or hurting you, they are angry and hurting themselves. You know, they feel pain. They may have been bullied themselves and they're taking it out on you. And it's nothing to do with you. It's everything to do with them. So another message here, never take things personally. 
Feminines, kill them with kindness. Someone's being nasty to you or evil to you or doing horrible things, kill them with kindness, like Selena, you know, Selena Gomez, kill them with kindness. So remember that. And, it, you know, everything is neutral that happens to you. You know, people come to the channel and they try and trigger me in the comment section and nothing triggers me because I've overcome those triggers. Okay, I might think about it for a moment, but I see everything as neutral. And sometimes our response in a comment can be misunderstood. You know, so my reply is, a, is just a neutral reply, but it's seen in a different way. So someone could read it in a nice way. Someone could read it in a, a painful way or a stressful way because it's always about ourselves. So remember, never take anything personally. Because some people are angry or, you know, if you want to tell your friends if they act angry or if they try to make you think something else, it's just that they aren't really educated on the journey or they don't understand it or they are seeing it from their point of view. And that's not your fault or problem. So remember, just be you. And exercise. So exercise is so much more than physical activity. You know, we think about exercise, we think about going for a walk or doing some weights or moving our body around. And exercise is good for us. And you may be guided to do that. And that's good. Go for that walk, you know, do your exercise, yoga, whatever you want to do. But this to me always means making things a daily practice, daily exercise, doing things daily like gratitude and, you know, like breath work and the same peace work, work on being peaceful every single day make it daily exercise to do that it says run walk swim or otherwise move your body because this will give you more energy and happiness so when we move our body or we do things daily we feel better and for me you know what works for me how i stay positive and uplifted daily is connecting with the angels daily whether i'm recording videos or not i always have that bond with heaven and i'm always talking to heaven as best friends you know, my bond with heaven is super strong and yours can be too. And I know so many of you have that beautiful bond with the angels and they continue to blow your mind every day. And we've got light. And when we connect with angels, when we don't get sucked into drama, when we kill them with kindness, when we do all these things, we operate in the light because we are light workers and natural givers. So see the light within yourself and everyone else. So that's your power today, Divine Feminine. To see the light within you, this situation, your twin and everyone else. And look at this, we've got Rose Quartz Energy. Love life. It says new or renewed romantic love is here for you. New or ro new renewed love. So romantic love. So if there's a renewal, you know, a renewal that's going to feel new. So when you and your twin come back together, when you reunite or when you reconcile or when you move to back together, because you're coming back together, it's going to feel new. It's going to feel magical. It's going to be so much better than it was before because there's newness coming in. So be open to love. So the energy for you today, Divine Feminine, is love. Just love. Love each other. Love this life. Love yourself. Love the universe and give thanks for all things and make finding love and peace a daily exercise. And for the masculine, we've got divine love. So they are glowing within them. So they feel the glow within. The glow within is your light and that soul power that's burning in them for this divine love. This is like the two of cups in the tarot. So divine love is the connection that you share. And the masculines are saying to you, divine feminine, you know that you're loved. You know inside that I love you. And inside your masculine knows that you love them. And they are realizing more and more that they deserve love. And that they are loved from heaven. And that they can shine in their life and listen to your true feelings. So when they listen to their true feelings, the mask comes off. And they realize this is divine love through it's a twin flame journey. Even if they don't recognize the label, they know the feeling of it. And they know it's a divine love, a divine partnership. And absolutely where they belong. It says don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So again, there's this real energy today where... We don't need to be listening to outside influences. We need to listen to ourselves. And, you know, this is the masculine standing up for themselves and saying no to people in their lives that don't serve them and yes to themselves. And we've got pets. And I love this because, 
you know, pets bring in that light-hearted, playful energy. And we're connecting with spirit animals right now. And I do feel pets around too. It says you love and understand animals. So the masculines might be spending more time around animals right now. If they have a dog or, you know, they have a cat or they have an animal. Or maybe they work with animals or they just love being around animals. Because the animals are helping them to be more light-hearted and playful. And we've got Peridot Life Lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing that comes and, you know, whatever they contain. So the masculines are reminding you they are still learning lessons and they're still finding their way. And, you know, this gorgeous kind of emerald green energy, this gorgeous peridot, again, I'm feeling it here too in nature, is connected with Raphael and Mother Gaia. So the masculine is being guided to connect with their true self within in their heart space and feel all this love. And they are learning right now and finding their way. And we also learn lessons from the animal kingdom. You know, when we see animals. The other day it was so funny because I was talking to Sandra World Illuminator 11 on Snapchat. And we were talking and I had my camera like pointing at the, the roof of the kind of the garage across the road. And there was two pigeons on the roof. And they were chasing each other. And it was just so funny because, you know, it's like the one of them was saying, this is my roof. Get off my roof, you know. But And he was like pecking him. And, but when the other pigeon eventually flew off, he flew after him. And it just reminds me of the twin flame journey so much because, you know, we're always coming back together. And no matter what, when they fly away, they fly back. We find each other. And it reminds me, I told this story a while ago and I want to share it again. Once I was in a coffee shop and there was two twin babies in like this little pram and everyone was looking at them because they were so, so good, you know, so attractive and just, you mean babies, you can't help cooing, can you? You know, cooing after them, like getting all gooey and it's like your mother instinct comes out and one baby was really happy and loving life and enjoying everything and going, ooh, and everyone on this side of the room was just in awe of this cute baby. And the other baby was miserable and crying and not happy at all. And everyone on that side of the room was kind of like thinking, well, that baby stopped crying, you know. And I just noticed it. And it's like the masculine and the feminine. The feminine's all uplifted. The masculine's in misery sometimes. But every now and again, they touched each other. You know, they like to reach out to each other to say, I'm still here. You know, and they were reassuring each other of their connection. It just warmed my heart. And, you know, I just really wanted to share that. A lot like the pigeons, you know, no matter what, how many arguments they have or what separate ways they go, they come back together. So beautiful. So take that into your day. Focus on love. Let the fear go and know that this journey is beautiful and magical and it's all safe. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.